Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 4 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to start by dividing both sides by 9 to the power of x. So now by doing that, these two cancel out and now if I have something in the form a plus b over c this is equal to a over c plus b over c so right here we have 4 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x and that would equal 4 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x and this is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this can be written as a over b to the power of m. So I'm going to use this property for both 4 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x and 6 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. So now I'll have 4 over 9 to the power of x plus 6 over 9 to the power of x. And this is equal to 1. So now I can go ahead and subtract 1 on both sides. So now I have 4 over 9 to the power of x plus 6 over 9 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, I can simplify 6 over 9 here. 6 over 9, a common factor of these two is 3. So 3 times 2 would be 6, and 3 times 3 would be 9. So 6 over 9 would be simplified to 2 over 3. And now 4 over 9 here. Well, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. And 9, this is the same thing as 3 squared. So I can rewrite this as 2 squared over 3 squared to the power of x plus 2 over 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So right here I have 2, to the, two squared over 3 squared, and this would equal 2 over 3 squared to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And notice how n and m are interchangeable because they are multiplying with each other, meaning a to the power of m times n is so the same thing as a to the power of n times m. And if this is true, then this must mean that a to the power of m to the power of n is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So right here, I have 2 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x. And I can think of a as 2 thirds, m as 2, and n as x. So now I can switch the places of these two. So this will get me to 2 over 3 to the power of x squared. So now going back to the original equation, I have 2 over 3 to the power of x squared plus 2 over 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. 
Now I can let 2 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute in y for 2 over 3 to the power of x, I get y squared plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. And now, as you can see, we have a quadratic equation. And any quadratic equation can be solved by using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So the coefficient in front of y squared is 1. The coefficient in front of y is 1. And we have negative 1 over here. So this means that a is 1, b is also 1, and c is negative 1. So now if I plug these values into our quadratic equation, I get negative 1, because negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c, which is negative 1. And we are dividing this by 2 times a, which is 1. Now, this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1, which is 4 times negative 1 over 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So I have negative and negative 4, which is positive 4. Or 2 is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this gives me two values of y. I have y is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And I have y is equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So remember how we set y equal to, to 2 over 3 to the power of x. So now we have 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to, let's start with negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So if I solve this, I'll first take the log on both sides. So I have log 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log of negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now I can divide both sides by... Well, first, before I do that, I can move this x1, x to the front of the logarithm. So now I have x times log 2 over 3 is equal to log negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now I can divide both sides by log 2 over 3. So then these two cancel out, and I would have x is equal to... log negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 over log 2 over 3, which is equal to approximately 0 